You gotta be there. careful what you say because they be using it. <laughs> Last one to the airport buys breakfast. Buys breakfast. <laughs> I mean, come on. They need no introduction. Y'all know what the fuck is going on. You guys know what's good here. We got... Uh, the episode was We got the Tejadas in this bitch. Yeah. We got the Tejadas in this bitch. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all always have... It's always some shit going on in that kitchen, bro. Like, <laughs> right. What's... what's it's what's, something about the kitchen. Like, the air in the kitchen. Like, the kitchen and that dinner table. Yeah. Like, what's, they all need to be sage. sage. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's exactly. how true it is. That's yeah. how true it is. Yeah, that shit do need some shade. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. It's a lot going on in the house. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. This is the first time you guys have ever been together on... on have you guys done an interview together? No. Not like, no. like this. I yeah. love this. Oh, yeah. I love this. I love this. As soon as I saw that you guys got here happen, first, I was super excited. Here for yeah. it. You know? Yeah. 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 Well, you just did Breakfast Club a couple days ago. I did. Yeah. How was, I did. Come on, bro. Me and Woody, shout out to Woody. How was that shit? That was lit, bro. I was That's so fine. nervous. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so nervous. I saw but clips. Y'all killed it. We, it was it was a good time, man. It was a good time. They were really nice. Took care of us. It was good. It was good. Fire. Were they nicer and did they take care of you guys more than we do? <laughs> uh, no, I mean, we didn't get any yeah. drinks. No drinks. I mean, we got tea there. No, oh we got some God, drinks, so but they got you got you guys got snacks. They got yeah. snacks. Just so you know, they got snacks. Yeah, we, we really got snacks. Fuck out of here, Charlemagne. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll order you food if you really. <laughs> that mini bag chips ahoy be hitting in a yeah, different yeah, way, I'm bro. I'm trying to tell you, it's, just, it's the just right amount. It's the perfect <laughs> it's amount. It's not too little. Thing. It's not too much. Like yeah. it's the right it's amount. Perfect. Because I get the big box, I fuck around, and finish the whole shit. And yeah. I'm gonna feel like crazy after that. Mm. I get the little small drones, I can finish them. Like, yeah, we you good. can finish that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. For I sure. might go for a second one. So, this episode has come out um, after, uh, like, this will air. Because you know what's so funny is that we are right now, we, this, we've watched the leak. To recap this episode, yeah, <laughs> so sad. So the leaks are fake, but we had to watch it to recap. Yeah, uh -huh. just in case they yeah. use those scenes. Yeah, like, you yeah, know? just yeah, 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 just in case they choose to use the alternate. You know, yeah. then yeah. yeah. No, the episode has already been out. Now, by the time this episode airs, the episode's oh, been oh, out. Okay. So, <laughs> bro, <laughs> we've been holding and hiding on to all of that information for the a longest. year and a half. Yeah. Years from changing. Isn't it just you, right? You just it's exhaled. such a relief, bro. You just, you just exhaled. Now you the know what off, happened. The weight off the shoulders is is a significant amount of weight that's off the hmm. shoulders. We can do we can do kind of like a cool. You know what? With this with this recap, we can kind of do a whole season recap and 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 that. recap all that stuff. I want to know what all three of your favorite scenes from ep, from season three are. That's a good question. Um, let's see, favorite scene. Yeah, I gotta think. Hold I gotta on. think. Do you guys um, need time? Because listen, your boy knows his. Okay? <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead. And I'm gonna come on. It's the last thing we saw. Okay. That's oh, the coolest, yeah. that was yeah, the coolest yeah, yeah. thing I ever got yeah. to do. Yeah, the shootout and yeah. shit, right? Yeah. 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 Fire. Oh, the shoot? Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. you, you motherfuckers. You I, I hit both of you. I hit both of you, motherfuckers. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not canon, all right? <laughs> There's no evidence or proof of that. <laughs> and I made yeah. sure, even though like I was in my character, I made sure not to come back up <laughs> and put myself in the line of fire. <laughs> you were shooting Absolutely. like this? I was like, hey, let me, uh-uh, and then come back down. Yeah, you got to get covered. You got to get covered, man. During blocking... Okay. <laughs> Blocking is when you know you find your marks and they're gonna mm -hmm. all of that. Lavelle made sure to not come out so much, but yeah. the director still made him bring his body out of his little blocking. He's like, bro, if I come out, I'm gonna get so shot. <laughs> we don't know if he got shot or not. <laughs> like, I don't know. Why are you trying it, man? You you know, I made sure that Drew was tactical. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> gotta be tact, bro. You when you got the script bit. for ten, the ending, did you did you flip to the end? Absolutely. And you saw the shootout, and were you like, oh fuck? Yes. <laughs> when I got the script. I was watching, um, uh, what's that play called? Uh, Death of a Salesman. Uh huh. Mm. No, Macbeth, actually. It was Macbeth. And I was sitting there watching this play, and we got the episode. And I was uh, like, okay. Isn't that the worst? It, it was like uh, intermission. So oh, I pulled okay. up my phone, I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do I see my name? Is there anything correlated with my name and getting shot? Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't know what happens. Yeah. Mm hmm. I was mad tight. Because you got <laughs> so shot inconclusive. before season, at the end of season one, right? You were shot. Yes. 
Damn. I'm trying to get shot again. Not shot again. <laughs> you got to wear the sleeve. <laughs> that nigga Drew going through it, man. Going through it, man. Boy, it's been a, crazy a lot of bullets, man. Yeah, Sheesh. man. You know? I can't think of my favorite scene. What's your favorite scene? Mm. I'd say my favorite scene for you was, was 309, that yeah. whole Monet yeah, show. Yeah, that was fun. That was yeah. my favorite scene for you. That, that was, was real fun. intense. That was intense. That was fun. I really liked the um, mush from Monet. There. That mush. It's crazy. First of all, I didn't That's even know that happened oh, yeah. until I saw it because yeah, I walked out. She threw that in there. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Yeah, that shit was the cherry on top right yeah. there. I'm like, oh shit. I really like that scene. That's yeah, that scene was yeah. fine. That was I fine. say mine was. Um, Drew getting drunk and belligerent at the little bar. Mm. Oh, with mm. uh, with Ever. Yes. Yeah, I like that one. I really like that. I was like, you get to finally talk about what's going on. Right. You know, got somebody who might just lend an ear. You wanna know what's so funny is that the yeah, way a that... lot of shit bottled up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. But that, yeah, it's like the way that the show is, is like the audience knows everyone's secrets, mm-hmm. but the character the doesn't know the secrets. Shit. Yep. So it's kind of wild, like when you yeah. ca- finally get that moment of like being like, oh, fine, okay. Finally, yeah. Like kind of like. Me personally, like with the Effie stuff, like when Tariq finally found out, like when that scene where he beat my ass, yeah. I was like, thank God, just beat my ass. Like, he knows. <laughs> like finally figured yeah. it out. What, um, what was something for you that you're like, I'm so happy that, that Tariq knows it? Um, Could have been a, an original power too. Damn. Um, Kind of like when Tariq kind of started finding out like who his family really was. Like I wouldn't say it's one thing, right. but it was so mu- so much unfolded with that. But I would say yeah, when he started like really f- like realizing who who and what they like who Ghost family. was, yeah, who's that? And you was. called Omari Ghost, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like that, I'm Don't like, ever yeah. fucking call me that again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, yo, these scenes are insane. Yeah. But I would say for this this season, my favorite scene, it would probably be the. See, my thing is, bro, like the fucking scene with Effie, bro, like. I wish I, bro, I, like, I, I know I, what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you feel me? The car bro, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That scene, I would say that was one that of was my favorite. For me, for you, yeah. I would say that was one of my favorite if I was able to lock in that day. But mm. I would say... Wait, this, you, you don't think you were locked in? Cause, no, um, I know I wasn't at all. I know for sure I wasn't at all. <laughs> I know okay. That whole episode I wasn't. Me either. What? At all. Yeah. I promise you. Okay, well, the scene between you and Effie when you guys are at the spot where Lauren was killed, mm-hmm. murdered it. Thank mm. you, Thank you. I was trying, man, but I just... The way you said, fuck, like, yeah. you were so hot. That like, shit came out the y'all, chest. Yeah. Y'all killed that. That shit came out the chest. Bro. That was my favorite. I would say my my favorite for sure, though, is the scene with um 309 the, in, the, in the warehouse where we're talking about what the fuck is family? Like, you called this a family. Oh, right. Mm. Well, yeah, I would say Damn, that's my I'm favorite. Damn, I'm a part of his favorite scene. <gasps> yeah, I would say that's my favorite scene. You know, you know how we go. Yeah, that scene was fire. Yeah. We, we talked about that last week on the last week's recap. But, that was a good scene. Bro, we were not even supposed to um Yeah, we weren't even supposed day. to shoot that shit that day. What do you mean? They oh, didn't know was where, that the cover? Yeah, like, oh, they didn't know where the where the scene was going to take place or anything because that was the same day he killed um, Uncle Lucas. Right. And we literally just filmed that scene right um, like under the like the same building, like right yeah. on the right because below. Uncle Lucas got COVID, so then they're like, okay, and then they just yeah, he called ended up not coming to set. We were so not off book. Co- it was three pages. Yeah, they called me to set. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, whatever. Doesn't an experience like that make you feel like, wow, I can do anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah hell yeah. Because at and it first, made it better. yeah, because at first I'm like. This is three three pages, but yeah. we, we don't got no no like no we didn't time. even know we were supposed to do this. We're not even yeah. in the right location for yeah. this shit. And I'm like, well, this is what we're here for. So we just we was like, fuck it, let's just get off book real quick. And just see what we see what we and do. And it doesn't give you time to overthink. Yeah, like you just yeah. gotta go for it. And an, and another thing, like we we took like a little second to kind of like get in our pocket. So I think the frustration from that, like kind of <laughs> like kind of like drove like uh-huh. the rest of the scene. Like I'm like, damn, why the fuck yeah. can't I find something mm-hmm. right now? And it was just pissing me the fuck off. And I'm like, I'm just mad. And, and then once that it. shit just once I got mad, that shit just started working. Ooh. I'm like, you're I'm like. I'm like this is what this is what I need. <laughs> You're also talking to Michael, who's like Michael never over prepares. Michael knows. My, there's nobody that knows a character more than Michael knows Tariq. He literally gets to say, he's like, "What's my lines? Okay, cool." Got it. And he's already locked in. Like Michael's not at home. Like, okay, I think he should. Do, like, he's, and the moment before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Season one, I was definitely on that though. Season yeah. one, I was definitely doing that. But did that. you feel like it helped or, or, or hindered your work? Um. I, I'm not saying from like anything I've seen. Like mm-hmm. personally, sometimes when I over prepare, mm-hmm. I don't like what I do. I don't do. think yeah. I don't think it did anything for me. Yeah, like, honestly, like obviously, the, uh, you know, just being prepared is great. But as like for the scenes and as an right. actor, I don't think it really did much for me. For some roles, you need yeah to. certain yeah. roles though. Like this role, I'm I, I don't need to because right. it's just like I know I know you. the person. Yeah, it's yeah. right for me. Right. But like obviously, if you know a new role, I'll be in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking down yeah, the beat. Nah, yeah, hell yeah. Especially now because like. It's not even just because it's a new role. It's like just breaking out of this, like Ooh, you know, yeah. like getting like getting used to not 
using the same mannerisms and shit like that, it would be, it's like, it's a whole different thing. So I would definitely, it would definitely, yeah, I would definitely have to yeah. read a lot more. I want to go back to what you said about like, you, you weren't locked in that day. How did you know that you weren't locked in? Yeah, sometimes you definitely do have those days where you like, damn, I, I for some, I can't get into the zone. And sometimes it's, it, some days you will like, you will be in those moments and you won't even know why. Like sometimes you just be like, damn, like what the fuck? Like what the fuck is not hitting? And then, you know, you have like a, a, a quick moment. It's like, Okay, this is what I need to do, and now I'm right. now I'm back. Like now I'm yeah. feeling it again. Like mm-hmm. I don't know. It's like weird, bro. It's so fucking weird with me. Like and sometimes you'll have those moments where you feel like you didn't really kill it the way you wanted yes, to, and, oh, like, and then fuck. you see it. Yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I did oh, yeah, that. that I did that. that. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. That is a fact. That is a fact. I, it's we had, just weird. We had a um, we had a scene like that, um, this season. Oh, so I can't even say anything about it. Fuck. Yeah. But wh- wh- it was a fire. I see. <laughs> and you were locked in. Yeah, me and you both, we were fucking, like, we were in that bitch. Like, we was, like, really going at it. Like, I'm over here fucking yeah. throwing your shit around. Like, this is what the fuck you doing? I'm throwing your this shit around. There's a little around. sneak peek for four. There's a little sneak peek for four. Because we know yeah. you guys live. Yeah. You guys yeah, yeah, drive yeah. off into the sunset yeah, while everyone that. else is in limbo. <laughs> what? <laughs> y'all right. niggas is going. I don't know about y'all, but we good. Uh, it's just Brandon and Tariq, baby. I don't know how yeah. y'all living over there. I don't know who flatlined over there, but we good. <laughs> No, oh, it was no. so funny because I, I, <laughs> I went to go to ADR and they were so like, um, they were like, yeah, add this line and uh, they wanted ADR this line and as you run out of the warehouse, I think I got a few of those motherfuckers and I remember <laughs> being like, when they see this, they are not gonna be happy. <laughs> <laughs> because he's like, shit. Little. So we didn't live. Like, so we didn't, we're yeah. not gonna get the pickup letter. It wasn't me. He said, okay, cool. he said it wasn't, oh, I I was it wasn't me. You didn't <laughs> get Drew. I was taking cover. He said I was taking cover. I was down. I was right, right, right when right when Brayden and Tariq turns around to go run out of the warehouse. Uh, Lavelle was always the first one that popped up. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Where they go? Where the fuck they at? Let's go get these niggas back. Make sure. Like, you I'm shot? alive, baby. You look at y'all, you like, you shot? You like, oh, fuck y'all, I'm good. I'm like, shit. No, but somebody, <laughs> somebody did get shot. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. for sure. Somebody got you hit saw, up. You saw who your boy hit. Somebody got hit up. I ain't taking no bullshit from him no more. I shot his ass. <laughs> okay, Bieber. Yeah. Shot his ass. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, hold that on now. That don't roll well for Brayden later on. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to be see. tough. That's what, that's what that's what wait, I wait. I, there was there was something that I wanted to say about that scene, but now I'm totally forgetting. Um, what scene with the shootout scene? Yeah, the sh- the shootout scene. I'm totally forgetting. Well, well, to start off, so we were shooting at Noma's warehouse for three or four days straight, mm-hmm. and that worst warehouse location gets me ever. Sick. Worst location I ever. Isn't that the worst location ever? Yeah. Right. Yes. So my there's no service in there. Smells like shit. Yeah. Mad dust. Yeah. Get sick. It's fucking curly. The oh, fucking green room is like thirty minutes away. Shit. Yeah. The green room is thirty <laughs> minutes away. It's not like- a good location. <laughs> Anyways, my eyes got so messed up from the from the gun smoke and all the shooting at the end because we didn't shoot that the last day. That was like weeks. That was like maybe the first week of the episode yeah. we shot that, and there was smoke everything in my eyes. So the next day I woke up and my eyes were legitimately the color of Michael's. Jacket. jacket. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, and, and I wake up and I look at I look at the like you can't write this. I look at the the scene order. First up, Braden looks into the rear view mirror of his car. <laughs> oh, your reflection. I swear on my life. Oh, dude. it was that was my scene the next day. That's that why my is, eyes look. They look a little better because they switched the scene order. They drove me to the eye doctors. They fixed my eyes. They put all this shit in it. They say it's gonna be clear, but you're not gonna be able to see. And I'm like, yeah. okay, cool. So all I had to do was just look into the rear view mirror, and that was it. But why my eyes look like that is literally because of Noma's warehouse. But it looked good. Yeah, it, it looked emotional. Yeah. I kind of liked how it worked. I was actually going to ask my you preparation. That. Yeah, you was going through it. It looked yeah. like you was going through it in that shit. I'm yeah. like, damn. Look I at bro eyes. Ask, like, like, you can like, see what the was pain your, in his yeah. eyes. Like, mm-hmm. Your preparation for your reflection, because everyone had... That like reflection montage. Yeah, that shit was fire. That. I love yeah. that. was so. You, well, you get to see what everybody's yeah. going through. I well, love. Mine yours was, was the puddle, right? Yeah. Yours oh, was the yeah. puddle. Mine yeah. was what the. You were, when she took the IV out. Yeah. At yeah, the yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. was just so creative. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That shit was fire. That was fire right there. Yeah, I'm like, I love lie. that. You get to yeah. see what everybody's going through. You just fucking telling so many stories. Yeah, the gun. Yeah, when he was cleaning the gun and shit. Yeah. God, it was it was so good. It was like let's just check in with everyone in the yeah, world. Yeah, let's see how's everybody's yeah. doing, and then everybody's just fucking doing, yeah. going through it. Oh, 
God, I, it was I like love you that. were seeing every character finally like make their change, right? Yeah. Or that switch or right. transition to whatever it's gonna be. Diana mm-hmm. is like, "Fuck this shit." Mm-hmm. Right. She about to go try to kill her mother. Mm-hmm. So like she <laughs> stepped into it. Like mm-hmm. old Diana's done. Like, right. Yeah. 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 When yeah. when do you guys feel like your characters have made the most significant changes at all ever in 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 Ghost? Um. What you gonna say? I mean, I, I already know. I already know the the answer for your character, but I want to see what you're gonna say though. That well, I would I would say the first change, <laughs> the first change was definitely the dinner table. Yeah, I was gonna say because yeah. after that, Diana was never looked yeah, at the same after she, that. Uh-uh. She was a new, yeah, she was a. It was definitely the dinner table because she was finally speaking up, speaking out for herself, for like, herself, yeah, mm-hmm. and just um, and, and like out. stepping into that power. Finally, because right. she was like this baby, and I mm. felt like they started like growing her up to say, "F this shit!" Like you're gonna hear me, and I'm here. Right. Mm-hmm. So I would say that was the start of it. Yeah, for sure. You? I feel like it was the deleting in this episode, and and when you see Drew looking through his phone, he's deleting mm-hmm. everything yeah, with um, Gordo. Right. I think that's that's the moment where he's like, "I'm putting this stuff behind me. Right. I'm being about my business." Mm. Mm. You know, and we're gonna we see that we see so, that throughout the episode. When you kill Lil Guap, what was that? Do you think that was like stepping into your savagery? Then? No, that was already that was always there. Like yeah. people just like would look at Drew and be like, "Oh, he's a smart, calculated one. He didn't have like mm-hmm. like no, I could do it, but it has to make sense, right? Because mm-hmm. right? mm-hmm. he's but, just smart, calculated, you know. Right. And so then, right. doing throughout the season, you know, killing the Russians and all kind of stuff. The stuff. Like I said, it was always there. Always mm-hmm. there. But now, this time, it didn't make sense. Okay. And this time, it wasn't like, oh, it's calculated and it's smart. It's like, no, I just got it. We got to get out of the way. We got to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. I get your lick, man. I get your lick. Gotta get back in blood. Gotta get back in blood. Damn. For Tariq's character, there's so many yeah. turnarounds. Yeah, I know. You got to go all the way back to power. Yeah, you got to mm-hmm. go to power, like him just becoming his own like young man and him hanging out with Kanan. Figuring shit out about the family, then mm-hmm. from you know getting Kanan set up to now being the only person in his life that actually cares. Like literally, Tariq has no one in his life right. after Kanan. So like him just trying to figure out how to operate well, within that, and then now we in Ghost. Him, well, not even in Ghost, in power, he kills his father, changes his life for good. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That's after crazy. killing his father, his life <laughs> changes, and he has to become the man of the family. And then obviously in Ghost, it's like. There's so many changes because he has mom, and then mom goes away, then the sister's there, sister goes away, grandma goes, and it's a lot. It's a lot, it's a lot for him. So he has like I feel like every, every fucking season, every summer. fucking season he has yeah. like a crazy t- like turning yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he yeah. goes he goes the fuck through it. Lay your death. Yeah, okay. That nigga yeah. onion. <laughs> <laughs> the whole <laughs> onion. Okay, period. For real. Um, Stop playing. I, oh, I, okay, so I would say probably one oh six. One oh six when I went on the block with oh, Kane, with Kane. That was the yeah. best fucking scene. I love that. that was like that a was change that. of like Braden shows what he can do. Yeah, yes. that whole sequence was fire. Right, and then and then I would say obviously the um, uh, the Uncle Lucas. I know. Damn. Like mm-hmm. that's like that's really where where Braden's like, okay, like I this is who I am now. This is Cause that's your first official <clears throat> right. kill. Right. And I love it because you get to see him make the fucking decision before he does it. Like yeah. you literally see you make that decision, yeah. like, oh, this nigga is talking too much. Let me fucking get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. 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 I'm like, yeah, you yeah. can get that. Thing. I'm like, yeah, I said fine. You but, literally see it like yeah, I, I've had so many of those. Obviously, we feel our own characters. Like, we've had so many of them. Mm-hmm. What are the big ones? But the big one, I feel like, is changed Brayden forever is in episode 10 um. with Kiki oh. in uh, Weston Holdings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When he's talking to her, and she's like, like, when I go to go close to her, she's like, what happened uh, to Lucas? I was the only one who told you where he was. And I started stepping closer to her, um, and she, like, backed up, and she saw how dark I was. I'm like... That's yeah, mm. it's the and switch. that's Braden in season four. Yeah, mm. Mm. so yeah, dark, dark. Yeah, Braden is dark as fuck yeah. this season. So that's so that's um that's kind of uh, where, where I see it. But I love everyone's I love everyone's answers because um 
it's interesting to see as the actor where they think it is, mm -hmm. and then me as the audience member of of you know Diane and Drew and Tariq. Obviously, um, it's interesting to see where the audience feels. Mm -hmm. Oh this. God! Which is why I love doing this podcast because the comments they'll tell us. Mm -hmm. They'll oh, tell yeah. us where where they think the changes were in this mm -hmm. and that, and then 100%. we can kind of have actors. And they'd be right too. Like yeah. they'd be yeah. on point. Yeah, the fans be on point. Yeah. Only thing about like this whole leak situation. So when the when the episodes leaked, they hated us. They were going in I, I, on the yeah, Tejadas, yeah. yeah. Effie, calling us snakes, da da da. You snakes. Now the episode airs again, so we have to like go through the te the, the, the comments <laughs> again. again. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I know that. Yeah. I know that. Like, god damn, they're, yeah. they're calling us, I'm a snitch now. I don't think I was ever a snitch, but I don't think whatever. So. I don't think so. I'm not a snitch. Yeah, they're just they're these these fans are hilarious. Oh no, they crazy. You they read are the comments? Crazy. Yeah, I do. I think they're funny. Oh, and, okay. Like, and some of the stuff is like the little what is it? Their um predictions. Right. Like you said, sometimes they're right. Yeah, they I'm sometimes just like, they're so wild though. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they're, they're wild, like, but like yeah. I Kanan enjoy is my it. father. Like, what do you yeah. mean Kanan is Tariq's dad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, some of them, some of them are wild, but like I guess the, I guess it's interesting, like that they're so invested. I'm just happy that they're invested because you could yeah. be on a CSI and, and then no, they're like, what's mm -hmm. going on? They solved the crime? Okay, exactly. cool. Exactly. <laughs> they solved the yeah. crime. Yeah, that's it. Like, they care, which, yeah. is, which is what I love. Um, but we can get into this episode a little bit and start talking about, like, the stuff that happened. Obviously, we just started with the, with the ending because right. we, yeah. we yeah. wanted to get it out. crazy. Um, but yeah, this, the, I mean, this episode, w what was your favorite one this season? This was probably my favorite um, all mm -hmm. around. Oh, this one, know. this one, and, and and the the one we were talking about a couple weeks ago, uh, it was either seven or eight, mm. which I loved. Oh, the one where Shane died. Yeah, yeah that was probably yeah, my favorite episode of the yeah. season. But ten, mm. ten, I loved. Um, w w what's like? What are some things in mm. ten that you guys really like? In t I mean, you could do personally I, or anyone. I had a fun <laughs> dressing up mm. as Monet mm. <laughs> with the wig thing. Like that was fun and like. Dropping off the letter and being able to interact with Tommy's mom, right. like because I've been a fan of Power since the beginning, so right. that was kind of dope. Like, oh my god, that's right. fire. Um, yeah, so that was that was fun and interesting. Of course, the shootout, which we've already talked about. Mm. Uh, that was yeah. Fun. Mine was uh, I loved episode six. Is that yeah. a funeral episode? Six, six. Yes, it was six. That was Lorenzo's funeral. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I love that one. That was that was shootout at the funeral. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. crazy. Shootout at yeah. the funeral is crazy. And using I love Lorenzo's uh, coffin as a shield. Yeah, that was crazy, right? That was insane. Diana was mad about that. You gotta do what you gotta do. He's already dead. He's already dead. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we all love ghosts. You know what I'm saying? This that we do. Yes. Season this is now in the can. Season three is now in the can. But one thing we don't want going ghost is our hairline. Never. Never that. We don't want our hairlines going ghost, man. We got to add power to the hairline. We got to give power to the hairline. So who do we just partner up with, Mike? Listen, man. We got plant made. We got plant made. And this made. is black owned. And you know how much I love my black woman. This is a black woman-owned company, babe. You know what I'm saying? It's vegan, all natural, no chemicals. So you're not putting none of that crazy stuff in here. All from the earth. And people don't really know, Mike takes that very seriously. Yeah, no, I take care of the hair, man. You got to take care of the hair. It's the power, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's what gives you the confidence. Listen, your boy trying to get waves, all right? That's why we partner with Plant Made. I got you with a silky, too. Don't worry. Yeah, you got a silky? Yeah, I got you, I got you oh, with a silky, yes. don't worry. As you know, this is for everyone. This doesn't have no gender. It's for women, men, everyone. And this is the drizzle. Hydrate, moisturize, and soft. You spray this in your hair, bro, you're gonna be feeling like clouds, you know what I'm saying? You got the nice little soft hair. You could like play through your hair after you, you know what I'm saying? Still after want you. the waves, though. Still yeah. want the waves. Yeah, it's one thing you gotta sacrifice. That's all fluffy <laughs> shit. We get the waves, though. And we all know your boy needs a couple inches, okay? So right here, we have our inches hair and beard oil. All you gotta do is put a couple drops in there, and boom. Helps with lengthen your hair. It strengthens your hair. All of it. Go to weareplantmade.com and check out their whole entire product line. Come on. You want to be confident? Get plant made. You know you you know you walk with a little bit more of a swag when your hair's smelling good, your mm -hmm. beard's smelling good. You just mm -hmm. feel different. Mm -hmm. Listen, 
the boys is helping you out now. We give you a 15% off on your online orders as long as you use the code cool on weareplantmade.com. Again, that is weareplantmade.com. Use the code crew. Support the boys. Get your hair feeling get fresh. Get your hair right, man. And we giving you a 15% off. I better go get right. Disclaimer, uh, if you're white, not guaranteed to give you waves. Back to the episode. <laughs> In episode 10, I think my favorite, um, I like seeing Drew, his fo- like his focus come alive. Right. Mm. You know, and like, listen, man, like, you wanted Drew to be at the head of the family. Let me show you what, why Poppy wanted Drew to be the head of the family. Right. And, and plot something and lay it out and be so calculated and, and so precise with it, you know, and have this like, well, well. The shit fell through. If we stick to the plan, right. <laughs> if we stick mm-hmm. to the plan, we'll be okay. As right. soon as you start like, oh, whimpering and wavering, he's like, no, we're sticking to this plan. <laughs> we stick to the plan. Yeah, we, we, we talked a lot about in previous recaps of like <clears throat> when Kane was the one who had the leverage over Lorenzo, he was the one making decisions for the family. And, and a lot of shit was going back. Bad. Yeah, that wasn't and, it. And honestly, when we, when we, because we posted that clip, who do you think would take over the family and, mm-hmm. and would make the best moves? 99% of the comments were true. true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He doesn't read the comments, but... <laughs> well, well, you know. Yeah, I mean, you do have, have to be careful. You can't read everything. Everybody. Right. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. I, I, But I would say Diana. Really? Yeah. Sure. Me and the family. I always, I always say Diana, because yeah. Diana is the one who doesn't care for the violence part of it. True. Mm-hmm. And you're you're good on the books. You're, you're very smart and intelligent. And you kind of, I understand that Diana wants, like... Is like looking for life outside, but if she were to be the head of the family, it would be like boss moves. Mm. I can see that. You know, I can see that. Thank you. Learning I the just game feel like from Drew is yeah. like he doesn't he doesn't act off of emotion, and that's the one right. thing like you can't do if you're going to be like he mm. does in relationships. I was just going to yeah. say like, relationships. He's same very same emotional in relationships. But when Both it comes to us. the family, though, when it comes to the family and business and yeah. you know knocking shit off the board. He handles what he has to handle. No, no emotions involved. Right. Like, he just does what the fuck he got to mm-hmm. do. And I feel like that's a good quality for him because, like, mm-hmm. that's like a leader quality. You gotta just do what you gotta do. No yeah. emotions. Like, I think Drew would be a good leader. I do. I, I feel with leader. like both our characters, both of our characters, and you can tell me what you think. But it's definitely our strength and weakness is matters of the heart mm. because Ooh, Diana that. will no always no be lie. family over. Everything, mm-hmm. which is why, yeah. even though she wants to put all of her focus into school and getting outside, whenever her family needs her, she's like, mm-hmm. All right, and she <laughs> channels it and she puts it into the family. So right. that focus and that strength that she has outside, she puts it into family and it it all works out, or whatever the case right. may be, whether it's getting her poppy out of prison <laughs> or whatever it may be, she's gonna work that <laughs> magic and get it done. Right. Um, but then when it comes to Mr. Tariq. <laughs> it's always like it's, a, it's a weakness for her. You know, it's matters character. of the heart. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, I will say you you had it in this episode. You had a change of heart. With Monet in the car, I, it's so exactly. funny. Like exactly, you're like we got we got to kill this bitch. She's got to go. And then like, all of a sudden, uh, she shows you one ounce of love, and she's like, no, 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 we got to <laughs> yes. go back inside. <laughs> yes. But we've never have we ever seen that from Monet? No, not. In that sense, uh, episode five, season one, there is a moment where uh, Monet is talking to Diana on the stairs and she's trying to like teach her about men and what they want and how to manipulate oh, them. That. So that was nice, right. but not to the point where Diana feels seen by her mother. Right. And I feel like that was the first time that she felt seen. Right. <laughs> of course, right <laughs> when you set her up to kill her. What about yeah. when they went shopping? That was nice. Huh? When they go shopping? I think they got pulled over by the cop. Oh, yes, yes, and yes, yes, yes. But that yes. was that oh, scene shit. she was That's just talking true. about, right? What, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what men want from you? Was that... Um, no, that's no, no, a, no, that was season scene. two. Yeah. Oh, but that, that was, was you right. doing, that was you putting into motion yeah. what she taught you. Because um, you did the exactly, little... Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The, the shopping thing... It's cute. It, it wasn't really her feeling seen, though. It was just like a mother-daughter moment. Mm. They're buying clothes to end up taking the drugs to put them in boxes, <laughs> yeah. like Fendi boxes and Fendi yeah, bags and Gucci. Yeah, trap. Just trap. Just trap. 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 It wasn't like... 
you see me, mother. Was it intimate? Right. Yeah, and that was the first time, which is why I was like, oh, shit, I don't want to kill you no more. <laughs> but right. then it's too late. Right. Well, she says it this episode, like, she raised you guys as soldiers. Mm-hmm. And it's, that's fucked up yeah. to hear from your mother to Business say that to only. you. Business only. Like, yeah. You need, yeah, it's it's crazy because that's how, it informed the previous three seasons yeah. of why Monet is, we raised you as soldiers. And I don't know if she's flat out said that before, but that's that must be hard. Yeah. Is that fucked up, though? It's tough. You said, is to, it? Is it? For your parents to, to do that? To raise you as a soldier? So now you... It depends what kind of soldier. So now you got some great-ass discipline. It depends what kind of soldier, acumen. though. yeah. Well, yeah, listen, but, if if she was a mother and there for her kids and, and did the right thing, then yeah. no. But she's not. She mm. only sees them as soldiers. Yeah. She mm. doesn't see them as her children. It doesn't take care of them. So, yes, I know exactly, like, I can agree with what you're saying, but she doesn't do the mothering part. <laughs> the mothering part, yeah. I mean, she be cooking. <laughs> she did that for, for Zeke. She do be cooking. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, she be cooking. That's a mommy. That That's is the bare minimum. minimum. Hey, but she has food, food on the table. table. It's, it's a buzzing whole though. thing. That food does like. not snap, bro. That's Ken Props in nah, the back nah, <laughs> with his hands. I ain't gonna lie. The first, the first really? scene, the first Ken. scene, the first scene, season one, when Tariq goes to have dinner at the crib with y'all. That cornbread was busting. Oh, the cornbread dumb. was good. That cornbread that was busting. I was eating that shit. It was nothing. That shit was hitting. Oh my god! And that was when the, that's when the uncle came in. Yes, Uncle and Frank. And then he grabbed some fucking cornbread. I'm like, nigga, like, no, hold on, cornbread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking cornbread, nigga. Snitch ass, no, nigga, touching my good. cornbread. Just snitch ass hands on the cornbread. And Kim would like nigga. warm it up, so yeah, it was like Ken warm. Yeah, Kim warmed it up, buttery oh and shit. I'm like, damn, that shit hitting. Ooh, so good. The top was like a little moist at the top. I know what I need. The inside was soft. I'm like, damn, that's good cornbread. But the milk eats everything, huh? Yeah. No, 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 no. I haven't been eating. I haven't really been eating the food lately because I ask, I'll be like, yo, so is this like, is, can we eat it? And then be like, you know, it's been sitting there outside like for a long time. Not <laughs> outside. Not like, yeah, but, but like, you know, it's it's been like cooled down, warmed up, refrigerated, cooled down again, warmed up. Like, and I've just been learning about a lot about how quickly food spoils and I'm like, nah. No bro. thanks. <laughs> I just will never forget the time when you were eating that damn broccolini. And you was trying to chew it so fast before it was his time to Is speak. Scene? Wait, what scene was this? I don't remember. It don't was remember. A, it was a dinner table yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. and he was killing that fucking like broccolini. Dinner. And he was trying to finish chewing because <laughs> it's about to be his turn to talk. You're so like, funny. <laughs> Trying to finish, I was like, oh my God. So like, we just started laughing because you could tell. That he was trying to get it out of there. Trying. Uh, Do you want to know what I think of every time I see uh, an eating scene in power? I just think of Joseph, um, Tommy in the original power when he was fucking that played up when Tasha made him. Yeah. I'm like, he was probably so full yeah, when he yeah, went yeah, home because yeah, 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 he yeah. had to have done that 10 times. Yeah. Hell yeah. I remember yeah. that Z too. Yeah. I, could, I was sitting right there. Oh, you, oh, you were there I in that scene? Nice scene I think. How many times did he do that? It was a good amount. Did he know. eat every time or did he yeah, eat his spit? No, he was oh. eating every time. And did he yeah, spit he out or cool. he swallowed? He was eating that bitch. Yeah. Did he spit or swallow? Oh, Lord. Hey. Well, but that's what happens. Yeah, whatever. But that's what happens. Sometimes when you're he doing so many scenes. He asked a question tight twice. You literally yeah. do. Yeah. <laughs> it's a question twice. And he asked it the second time differently <laughs> than he did the first time. The first time. Exactly. Oh, sus. Get over it. Um... <laughs> but yeah, sometimes like this is a, a thing that'll happen. Like if you're doing uh, too many, like so, sometimes it'll be scripted. Like they have to take a bite of this thing or okay. most of the time it's just food setting and mm -hmm. Lavelle obviously does it to film the scene and it looks great. It does. But a lot of times like they'll make you, like you'll have to do something for a scene and some directors do fucking 80 takes. Like mm -hmm. not on this show specifically because, yeah. you know, we don't work like that. It's TV. But some film people, so what they'll do is they'll take a bite of it, chew it, chew it, chew it and then when they yell cut, they spit it out. Well, so, for the interrogation scene with Davis and Sax, when I was smashing that Shake Shack. Oh, I said that in the recap. Did you I was to like, it? no, I didn't watch it yet. Don't shoot me. <laughs> um, but I was like, I literally had to eat and talk, so it wasn't really time to like do the spit out thing with the mm. cup. I mean, the the cuts. Right. So I would like try to like bake it. I'll take a little bite of the french fry and kind of already have it in my mouth so when I take a bite of the burger, it doesn't look like I'm taking a huge bite. And I'm mm. just like, I'm sorry. I was really like, you know? Mm. So, oh, fuck, because I don't like to eat a lot of beef like that. Yeah. So I was like, I can't keep eating. But they did ask in advance, like, hey, Toya, what kind of burgers do you like? Mm. Da, da, da. And I was like, I do she like Shake Shack. I don't 
don't know. Chicken Boom. sandwich. Because if the chicken is too thick, then it don't. Yeah, it's weird, it's weird, I don't like thick chicken sandwich. Yeah, me neither. But anyway, I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. It's too like weird. I don't, they gotta I don't hit like, it with you know yeah, they you do the little pound thing. it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta hammer it out. Yeah, yeah. Are we hungry or what? Mm, yeah, I go, I'm a little bit. I'm a little hungry. I love, for people I love that you are making chicken, down, baby. can I just do a a PSA real quick? If you're making chicken, there we go. Don't make sure it's no longer frozen if you're gonna take it out the freezer. Oh, freeze yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure you let it thaw yeah, before you then out, make man. it. Because then when, if you cook it from frozen, Ugh. if you cook it from That's frozen, not gonna cook, it's brother. gonna be Thank chewy. You. That not gonna like, cook good like like It's like you biting, biting into your, your finger, yes. like that not gonna cook good better. <laughs> Look at Gianni's face. <laughs> I'm on board. <laughs> Man, I just had, I just had yeah, such nah, that, bad chicken. Uh, Gotta get that off the chest, though. Yeah, it's so real. Don't, don't I don't know like, what it is. Look at you, chicken, man. I got this shit frozen, yeah. man. So mad. <laughs> But that is interesting. People have no idea that like the set will like production will text us big. What do you like what for you food? Like? For what about that set? scene when you when you bring ice cream into the dorm, bro? Oh, that, that was hilarious. I had like five ice cream cones that day because I was trying to be funny. Because season one, I like Brayden's a little darker now and he's more mm. into the business, so I can't be as like goofy, ah, right? Yeah. Because if people are you know not that I take. I, I I don't do what the fans want me to do, but like I feel like at this point for Brayden now in season four filming, I'm like I can't be goofy, goofy, goofy guy. Like that's just not who mm. this character yeah. is now. He's gone through change. But season one, it was like a field day for me because I could yes. do whatever I wanted. So I was walking into Tariq's room, whatever, whatever. I was licking the ice cream cone, and then all of a sudden I like just take a big bite out of it to be dumb, <laughs> and everyone laughed, and I'm like, well, I gotta, gotta do, that. do it every day. I gotta yeah. do that twenty times now. <laughs> but yeah, that was another day. I think he got me like cotton candy. Because mm -hmm. he texted me, he's like, "What ice cream flavor do you like?" I was yeah. like, "What can I eat all day? You can't eat like a peanut butter fudge you could sundae do vanilla all day." Every day, yeah. all day. Vanilla, could do yeah. vanilla, but I I knew the cotton candy, also kind of vanilla y, would look good on camera, oh. and it would be okay, comical. Mm -hmm. It would be. Oh. I'm just saying, I know it, would be, it would look good on camera. It would be colors. comical yeah. for like Braden to be with cotton candy. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. if he had vanilla, it's, it's like, like okay, vanilla. Right. Candy. It just adds like a layer of funny to it. Where it's like, like this dude's dumbass eating fucking cotton candy ice cream. Yeah, I got you ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's like good to see that major transition from Braden season one to, to now. now. Oh, I love it. Beautiful. I love it. Dude, it's dark now. Bro. Especially yeah. where we are. We ended in 310 in season four. I I love Braden this season. Ooh. People may not, but I love Braden this season. That's all that matters. That, Period. That, that is really all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 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 Loving your character is a great feeling. It yeah. really is. Because then you're them. not judging them. You can yeah. make choices from a place yeah. of power. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, this is interesting. Have you um, ever gone through moments where you've hated Tariq? Um, because the, the world has. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious. I love every second of it. I love I mean, every second. Like that. I love because, it. because it's, we talk about this all the time. Like, the, the world does. The world does. Yeah. yeah, yeah, The world not definitely did. Anymore. Did. Yeah, not anymore. Oh, they did. Dude, he's the most yeah. loved character on television Isn't after one crazy? episode. He yeah. gives me hope. Something switch up. I must yeah. say. Yeah. yeah, you could. Tariq gives Diana all hope. All you gotta do is like two, two, three Sheesh. cool things, and you back on that good side. Yeah. Listen, baby. You know what it is, Mike. Listen. It's about to be summer. Summertime. And you know what that means. Get a lot of buns in the summer, <laughs> my guy. You know summertime is where it all goes yeah, down, if you know what I'm saying. Listen, you don't want it to be hot ball summer, man. It's hot guy summer. So Manscaped got you covered. Keeping them things down there nice and cool for the summer. Because you don't want the sweaty, soupy shit going on. Because, you know... You know shit gets crazy. You yeah, know? you want them smooth, smooth ball summer, baby. <laughs> now we got the performance package 4.0 to level up your grooming game. You guys know what this kit comes with. You got the lawnmower 4.0 that is waterproof. You could bring it in the shower. You could bring it in the pool. You could have your girl do it for you while in the shower or while you're in the pool. I don't know why you'd be shaving in the pool, but you can do it if you need to. So shout out to Manscaped for that. You, you know never shaved mean? in a pool before? Nah. Nah. With your with your friend with your guy friend, no. Nah. Okay, yeah, no, me either. I was just asking if you ever had. <clears throat> you, you sure? Listen, I don't know what you got going on over there, but let's shed some light on this crop preserver and this crop reviver. I was just asking if he ever dealt with that. But listen, the crop preserver and the crop reviver, it stops from chafing. You know, I hate that in the summer when you're thing down there, it's getting a little chafed while you're walking. You know, you put a little bit of this. Ooh, smooth baby. You guys know the deal. The boys at the crew, we don't, we don't really like paying them shipping fees, so we hooked you guys up. 
Got you out with the code 20% off and free shipping. Make sure you go to manscaped.com and use the code CREW. That's 20% off. And listen, to wrap this up, which I probably should do a little bit more of now that it's summer, use the promo code CREW. You get 20% off your first order with Manscaped. Take care of them testicles with the besticles, baby. Manscaped. Take care of the boys with the toys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Honestly, no, nah, I never hated my character. Like, I always like I always thought it was just fun doing like the crazy mischievous, yeah. like fucking menacing shit. Especially like, with 50 cents. Yeah, it's Hello. like mad fun. Yeah. Like, yeah, that shit was lit, bro. He was running the streets. Like, yeah. that shit was lit, bro. So yeah, I wouldn't say I ever hated my character. I loved every second of it. Even when everyone hated him, it was just fun. Cause like, <laughs> look at y'all right. niggas. Y'all mad as hell. <laughs> it's so more, it's more fun to be bad. It's just yeah, more it's fun it's, to be bad. it's way more fun to be bad. Cause like yeah. the reaction you get is just like, it's crazy. Like when you're a good motherfucker, like you know the the love that you're gonna get. Like you know the love exactly. that you're gonna get. You know exactly what it's gonna be. But when you're a fucking piece of shit, hated. Yeah, like yeah. the the love or the hate can go so many different ways. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. And you, have you guys had moments hated. where you've not liked your character? Hmm. Or I definitely his- have moments where I'm like, damn, why the fuck they got me doing this shit? Like when at the at the funeral, and I'm telling Dre that they um that they coming for him, like in oh, original power. Oh yes. the funeral. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, like, yo, they coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the whole world was like that. What? Like, what the? Why would yeah, you do that? That's one of the one things that really started making people hate me. They're yeah. like, why the fuck you gonna tell Dre? Because everybody thought Dre was gonna get his ass got right. Because everybody right. wanted Dre to die. That nigga was invincible for yep. a long Ooh. time. He was not going. And I helped burn them. Did you feel yeah. that way when the, um, you read him. that you had to kill Ghost? Yeah. Your dad? That was crazy. I'm like, damn, But damn. you were ready for that. Yeah, I was ready because, yeah. like, they, That's obviously it, yeah. I got to break down from the, you know, from the beginning of the season. But, like, when it kind of got closer to it and everything, I'm like, damn, they really got me doing this, this shit. Did they crazy. tell you at the beginning of the six? They, they didn't tell me I was going to kill Ghost, but they told me, like, something along those lines. Like, it was, like, the relationship between Ghost and his son kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like... Shit Ooh, like that. Jesus. So like when they told me I was gonna I was gonna be doing that, I'm like, damn, y'all like y'all don't think they hate me enough? Like right. y'all don't think they hate me enough? Like uh, like what else do y'all want me to do? Like they hate me enough. Like it's, yeah. I can't do this. I'm like, damn, I gotta do it. That's but, what happened with the the dinner table. Courtney told me she was like, they are going to hate you. They're gonna be so mad at you mm-hmm. after this dinner table. And I was like, really? I don't think so. I wasn't mad. Yeah. Um, like from a fan she standpoint, was 100% I was right. I wasn't mad. People were hot. You gotta keep it a book. I mean, yeah. uh, why, why is everybody mad that you told the truth? I mean, why come everybody on. mad that you exposed the fact that Zeke was your brother? Our brother. Come that on. was nice information to know. That's good information. Yeah. Like, oh, they were mad. <laughs> she was hundred percent right. And then him yeah. not being his age is even crazy. That was <laughs> yes. crazy. That was a deep. Zeke's thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> what was the line? Uh, fuck. He's like, you're, you're not, not nineteen. You're not. You're twenty-three. Yeah, he's like, you're twenty-three. And, and then Cam was like, I'm not the older. He said. He said. He said, that means I broke all the rules and regulations. Oh, the yeah. NCAA. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, oh and then Kay said, so I'm, I'm not, not your, your oldest, oldest son. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so much what the fuck so going on. It was so much stuff yeah. happening. Yeah. I love that, that scene. scene. I love that scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think there's any... <sighs> no, not that I could think of. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm never... mad at or I hate, I've ever hated Diana. Yeah, you know, I I've never hated Drew. I, I, like Me and Drew are best friends. I, he <laughs> yeah, taught me yeah. how to draw. Yeah. <clears throat> now I have that ability. It's right. the best. Like you know what I mean. Like it's now I have. I know how to draw. Yeah. And I know how to. I'm. I'm a lot more intelligent than I was going into the show. Hello. Hell yeah. That, Hell take yeah. Take that to the bank. Baby. I yeah, just nah, know that's a fact. everything Hundred thousand percent. I learned so much being on this you know? show, bro. Yeah. What? As an oh, actor, as a person, as an artist, as everything. Yeah. She technically, a master class. like yeah. all the technical stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this shit is a master class of life, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, just like not even just being on the show, the show within itself. Like, because the show is like, obviously it's a fiction show, but it's mm-hmm. so real. Like, the shit that people go through in the show is so real. And like, so mm-hmm. many people, like, even I could relate to a lot of shit that a lot of these characters be going through. I'm like, damn, like, you could really learn from a lot of this mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> well, you could say uh, how many people go through this stuff on a daily basis, which is why they connect with the show. So, mm-hmm. right. that's, that's why fact. our fan base is so huge and mm-hmm. everyone has huge. stuck with it. For because everyone years. goes through what the fuck these characters are going through. Right. It might not be on the same, like, level but like it's right. there though they're going through there's it. a way that they can mirror mm-hmm. our experience Hell with something. Yeah. a lot of people, people come up to me and be like yo so when when's drew gonna find love mm. you know Aww, just what, so like when's you just gonna find love it's bro? tough man you can't you know you it's can tough. never and and like looking at it from that perspective i've always been like 
wow, it's nice to look, kind of look be on the outside and look like Drew has, has been using his heart in such a way, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and that is, people can really relate to that, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, people be doing the same shit. Yeah. Right. And, and looking for love and like finally finding someone that understands them and that they, wow, I don't have to hide. Thank mm -hmm. you, you know? Mm -hmm. And then shit still falls apart. Shit gets stripped away. Right. <laughs> like well, here's is the there thing. anything it's you didn't like about Brayden? Yeah. 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 Is there anything you didn't been... like about Brayden? Um, I, I, I didn't, I, there, there'll be some stuff coming up, but like a lot of the a lot of the um, Riley stuff. I'm like, this is the girl uh, you're picking. Yeah. <laughs> this is the girl said, you're this picking. This is the bro. girl you're picking. This girl is like cooked. <laughs> like a, every single not uh, not Andrea. No, we the, love her. The, yeah, I, yeah, I know what you the mean character, by character Riley's like, She's like, yeah. Um, and I just went and I got my boba, and it's mm -hmm. like, bro, this is a, yeah. You're trying to like be legit and do business this and that, and like this is the girl you got, and she's going around doing this shit to your best friend and this and that. Like Riley. that was the one thing I was like, oh my yeah. god, and I was happy when that storyline ended because mm -hmm. I was like. Loved Andrea, but I was like, I don't want anything to do with Riley. Yeah. Like, it just, it just, I just didn't feel like it, it fit. I loved my scenes with, with Kiki this mm -hmm. season. Mariah, this I great. just felt like that, that it fit Brady. Because the character wise, she was what? Sophisticated? Like, what are you saying? Riley's right, she, character she, yes. was more. Riley's character was just like a child. Like, just, okay. just like every she scene was, just was like, Uncle Nancy. Yeah, just lace. She was oh. cold. Like, okay. fried. <laughs> yeah. And, fried and, rice. But the scenes with, with, with Kiki, I felt um, she was a little more sophisticated. She understood Brayden. Like, they, they kind of. Oh, I see. We didn't get into like depths of it, but like yeah. more than what. More than what um, uh, Riley was. It was nice to see Diana with uh, um, a, another. Oh, uh, please tell us some Salim stuff. Because <laughs> when we had you on, there wasn't much of that, that we, yet. Yeah, we can. Um, I don't know. I think it's weird though because everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Michael does this. You have nineteen he is love so interests. So funny, in. right? Oh, uh, tender, yeah. Tender man. It's crazy because everyone was like, "You need to stop worrying about Tariq." Da 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 da. And then she. And then as soon as you should stop a, worrying about Tariq and get it up, you need to be ass, yeah, nigga. <laughs> going in. Can't win, man. I I, no, I feel man. like the relationship between Diana and Salim could have been good if he just would stop asking. Question. Yeah, yeah. He was making yeah, he was too fucking persistent. Yes. He was seeing me, he was trying to, he was, Googling? you know, like, yeah, what like, after, you know, like, like you looking, like, you looking like the, the feds, like, you looking like the feds, like, come yeah. on now. Right, of course we Google, but, like, you don't tell the person. Yeah, if you're going to Google, Google just, your dad. Yeah, like, of course, you're, talking about? of course you go to their tag photos and everyone that they follow on Instagram and all the pictures that they like. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Of course you do that. That's right? intense. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do full background checks in their entire family and you see what they're doing, right? Lord. You know something you want to talk about? Of course. Of course you see their criminal record and everything yeah. before you start reading them. Of course you go to their house at night and you look through their window and you see how they act when they're alone, right? Of course you get their social security number, search it up, and then open Damn. a whole new bank account and their shit. <laughs> open a whole bank account. Of course you steal their identity. <laughs> of course you buy a $3 million house in their name the whole time they only have $150,000 in a bank account now they're in crazy debt. But you got a $3 million uh, house. <laughs> sounds real. <laughs> it might be. No, that, I was just asking if you guys have dealt with that. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering yeah. if you guys did I the mean, same thing. I don't, I don't know. We'll yeah. see. But yeah, he asked way too many questions. And, yeah. and also, yeah, he was looking like a narc after a while. He was yeah. looking like a little And that yeah. was yeah. not a good fit for Diana anyways. Yeah. Like, yeah. sometimes you can see, and I'm curious. This Ashe is a, Freeman. Yeah, this is a good question. <laughs> if the writers man. intentionally write a non-match or... Mm -hmm. The person gets cast that's the best as, like, PD was the best, Salim. And then PD and Diana, and, uh, or, or Salim and Diana didn't have chemistry. Like, mm -hmm. I'm curious how, like, how that um, correlates on screen and then how that, um, uh, like, how that feeds their writing. Mm -hmm. Because maybe if it was someone else yeah. that, like, there was chemistry with, he could have stayed. PD's a great actor. Yeah. But... Maybe the writing just didn't work with Diana like and Diana's trajectory and Salim's right. story trajectory probably just didn't. Right. Yeah. In in a way, like I think, like yeah. how do you feel about the stuff with like Everett or Gordo? Like how how, how do you feel, like chemistry wise? Because it honestly, it must be harder. Like, do you feel like because obviously you you are straight in real life? Like, do you feel like it's harder um, to have chemistry with a guy than it is with a girl on screen? Or like, how, like that's a good question. Wow. Okay, sir. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm curious. Hello. Um. <laughs> in in ways, in many ways, it's felt easier to have chemistry with a man, because it feels safer in a way. It hmm. feels more. 
Right, you're not putting yourself out there. You're like with like a, a dude. You're like, yo, what are you? yeah, like there's not there's not um there's not well whenever whenever I've had a female love love interest, there there's a lot that for myself I'm like I want to make sure that like you're you're very comfortable mm -hmm. that, ah, that you know that that nothing's kind of weird. There's no like miscommunication, nothing right. like that. You know what I mean? And. I kind of felt that way with working with Everett as well and working with Gordo. I still wanted to make sure that they were protected. Right. But I felt also that, like, that maybe, like, we understood each other more because we're men. Right. And and so I don't have to... There isn't, like, a miscommun any miscommunications going on here. I don't... I, I feel like I'm... No, I, honestly, as an circle, actor, I like, know exactly what like what you mean by that. Like, if I had seen what like if got, like if I had seen what Michael like that, I'd just smack his ass. Like, let's do this, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. smack his ass, brother. Yeah. Brother. But now that I mean, I I honestly could understand that though. It's like because y'all both have like the same like like kind of thoughts. Like y'all both got the same kind of like mindset when you're going into it. Like right. with a with a woman, it's like it's weird because like you don't want to do anything to make her feel away or like you know it's like it's weird. Like as a like. Two men is like whatever, like fuck with you. And you kind of want to like, like as much as we say this is not true, mm -hmm. like you kind of like when you're having a love scene with a girl, like you want to be a good kisser, you want to like, you know, you want it to be good. Mm -hmm. Whereas like a guy, you're like, bro, like, well, really, yeah, yeah, it's like fuck it. Like it's crazy because I remember was it season two? I think I remember season two or season three. I don't remember at this point, but um, I would notice like when you would have your um, intimate scenes you would be like free and open. And I remember telling you like, I admire that because I remember our first like kissing scene or second, first or second kissing, I don't even remember. But I was like, you were like free and you were like grabbing by the head or the chin. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I right. was so afraid to like put my hand around. Now I feel like free mm. and I like, yeah. But, um, but like you know, but in the beginning I was like, in the beginning I was like, oh my gosh, and like looking at Lavelle, Lavelle, well, mm. Drew, Drew would like caress and do all this stuff, and I'm mm. like, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. think so. As you said that, so literally, yeah, you yeah. said it before, and I'm like, I think it's be, uh, that came from like my fear of making sure, like, I didn't want to like come off as inauthentic. Well, you know? I hope yeah. it, I you know don't think I mean? it came oh, off yeah. inauthentic. No, 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 I'm saying like, I wasn't as I didn't, free I wasn't, as. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on now. I wasn't saying that our kids' team was like a robot. You know, it's like, it's like, if, if you're What's gonna, about? if you're gonna do something, you gotta commit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta, any any character we embody, we have to commit and go all the way. And, and, um, I, I, you know, I had great, great, great team partners that allowed that space, mm -hmm. right. you know? And um, I feel like when I had a, uh, when I was with women, I had, it was earlier in my career. Right. So I didn't know how to navigate the, you know, love interest stuff. Right. And, you know, and outside, and I just got into a relationship in real life. So I was mm. like, how do I make sure that this is like not respectful inappropriate and, and respectful, yeah, yeah, yeah. you right. know what I mean? And, you know, so... Now at this stage in my life, I, I, that's that's why I think it's, it's been easier because I'm like, and okay, I know how to do. It. We had intimacy coordinators. Right. I mm -hmm. wanted to make sure I, I made a pact with my scene partners. You know, making sure, okay, this is what we can do. This is what feels safe. This is what maybe a little, you know, um, we we talked outside of it. There was a little bit more time yeah. with it. You know, right, right, yeah. Not as well. Yeah. 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 I will say all of this, like, intimacy scenes that we've had, whether they were implied or kissing, it definitely helped me get a little bit more free because mm -hmm. I had my first sex scene on this show. And mm -hmm. I was just like, what That was this the season? Fuck? Yeah, episode six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm so mad because they cut some stuff, which I've already talked about how... I don't like that scene. Man, I don't like, like we was scene. on that for so long. I'm <laughs> like, come on. Scene. But anyway, you're so funny. I cannot. <laughs> we, like, literally, the emotions... It was supposed to be like, Damn. it's orgasmic, and we're doing all this stuff. And then she dismounts, and he asked to be her, uh, like, can you be my girl? And I'm like, yeah, all this stuff. And she's happy. Monet's dismount calling. Dismount is crazy, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dismount. <laughs> crazy word <laughs> selection. That's a wild thing to say. Okay, I get, it, get it. off of. I don't know. I was Ride trying to be Okay. My pony. <laughs> Y'all are my so saddle. funny. I can't. Wait <laughs> Call it, jump on it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. 
<laughs> what if we read it on? This mouse. I can't think of the word. She just <laughs> kept going, and all I could think of was like, I just gotta say that was crazy because I can't focus on anything else. <laughs> this mouse. This mouse. But go on, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, anyway, it was all this stuff happening, and um, oh my gosh, I have that song in my head. Yep. Okay, yeah, so is, she gets off, she, it's orgasmic, and then he asks, like, can you be my girl? And she's all happy, and then Monet's calling. She's like, fuck, I don't want to answer your call. And then she finally mm-hmm. answers the phone, and that's when she gets the call about her dad mm-hmm. passing. And it was just, and then I just remember that scene, I broke out in tears, and yeah. I'm like, get in this shocking call. Mm-hmm. All for it, <laughs> all of those moments to get that? cut. Right. No. Cut and that. I, I remember Sierra, episode, she works in costumes shit. wardrobe. She was like covering me that day because, you know, she's making sure things are covered or whatever. And she was like, you're officially a psychopath because she saw me go through these emotions of that to that to that to that to crying right away and then having to do the scene again from the beginning. And then all of those emotions just get cut. And I remember That's hearing the fans crazy. say about the Tejada kids, how come we didn't see them mourn mm. the way we thought they would have mourned their father? Mm. We all had scenes, if I'm not mistaken, of us like grieving, yeah. but unfortunately, of because didn't... of time, mm-hmm. it has to get cut. That is why I love this podcast because we can have an open oh, yeah. dialogue yeah. and talk about these things. Yeah, you know? things that they don't see. Right, because yeah. yeah. I definitely did see a lot of, of people saying like, yo, why weren't they mourning? Why, they are they, every, why is everything back to normal? Like, one, y'all got to understand, nothing was back to normal. That's <laughs> just the life they live. Like, people die in the life that they live and yep. they got to continue to live the we life, We have bro. to continue. So, obviously, you know, it's not going to, they're not going to fucking stop everything. They're not going to just sit down and fucking cry for the rest right. of the two Right, that's two true. Episodes. You got to keep moving. You got to keep living. And then on top of that, like we said, you know, we got to make sure everything kind of gets into these fucking in episodes. Episode. So certain yeah. things just have to be cut and them mourning just had to be cut. And honestly, yeah. that's fucking crazy because yeah. yeah. that's fucking important. Yeah, that's that's, right. a, that's yeah. an important element. A lot of stuff story. gets cut or a lot of stuff happens that like people don't understand. It's like, yeah. it's just And hurts. there's a lot of storylines yeah. mm-hmm. that you have to dive into. So it's like, you can't keep everything. Yeah. They'll right. be sitting there forever if they kept everything. Hours. Yeah. Also, also, I will say now that we're, now that we're all airing stuff out, 309, when Brayden throws Uncle Lucas over the thing, that's Uncle Lucas's place, right? Mm. Everyone's yeah. saying Brayden's fingerprints are everywhere. Bray- it's his They're family member. Been yeah. there. It's yeah. his family member. Of course his fingerprints are everywhere. Yeah. 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 Like his, his, his Brayden touched the thing. It's like, yeah, he. That's They're his, family. Right. We've been here. My We've fingerprints had, are probably been all a over this house. Party yeah. at this yeah. point. Yeah. No, no, exactly. Party. Get together, Everyone yeah. air out something right now. What do you guys have that the fans have said something? They're like, no, this is it. That was um, mine this season. Brayden's damn, fingerprints damn. is would be all over there. Damn. Um, Sheesh. Damn, damn, damn. For me right now, it's the crying thing. Yeah. And she cried, like, y'all. Yeah, like <laughs> I mourned the my poppy. Like <laughs> as much as I said it, Drew trust too. I mourned. Drew yeah, too. yeah. Um, they had we had we did an extended cut of of, of it, mm-hmm. and we, you know I, I got to that place, and we had to cut that part too. That shit is crazy. Yeah. Bro. I, was like, I wish they I hate when we oh. cry and they cut shit. Oh, bro, I hate when we have a whole damn scene and it's gone. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's ridiculous. Why? That's what, have, what have they cut? What have they cut? I was supposed to be skipping rocks. Huckin' Rocks. Damn. At the end of the episode. I think it was episode eight. Huckin' Rocks. Uh, three? About yeah. Lorenzo Stressing or out. about Everett? About, after, like, at the last time you see Drew, he's, like, on the pier, Huckin' Rocks. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. And, it was... and, then, and then he gets a, he gets a phone call. Okay. And I was like, that didn't happen. Yeah. But what was it, what did it, like, serve exactly? It was just to see that, like, he's, like, around <laughs> after the whole... Oh, okay, because I'm like, I didn't even know what Huck and Rocks was. was <laughs> Huck and Rocks? I'm actually threw, like, little shade. She's like, well, what did that serve? No, no, it wasn't shade. I was just trying what to understand. What did that because... serve? Because they did a good but job. But you know what? No. 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 If I'm not mistaken, understand. that didn't happen in episode huh. nine, right? Yeah, no, that didn't happen. Yeah. I, I mean, I watched them both, yeah. So I'm saying, so I'm like, that was a part of it, because it was like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Saying. I think he gets a phone call in that scene. I don't remember. And, and it's it, not there anymore. And it, exactly. And we it shot connects. it a year and a half ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it was like, it connected. One, it connected the moment that happened Next. at the restaurant and what happens right afterwards. And like, you see, you know, but. Just like when we were at the dinner table, I think it's the following episode. Yes. Seven, yeah, episode seven or eight. I don't remember. Um, uh, and the the feds they come into the house. Yeah, we're all at the table. Ha 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 ga ga. But that didn't happen right away. We mm. said a prayer at that mm. table. Right, but they cut it. And that was the first time that the Tejadas came together, minus their father. We said a prayer. 
Right. Oh. And the prayer got cut. Oh, so people were saying it was all They're happy. Like, day, happy. So y'all just happy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> time. We did. There's say timing, that. Right. and you have to get everything in. Right. Yeah. It would be nice to see, you know, but. Right. You have to get things right. in. You got to get things in. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. All yeah. right, we 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 got to go into this episode just a, li- oh, yeah. Ooh, a little I know. bit more. Did we ever? Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I know, but we're just, we're just talking about the season, but yeah. I love this. This is fun. Yeah. It's kind of like a whole like look oh, back yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. But like obviously Tasha coming back. Oh god. That was that Mar- was like kind of the beginning of that. Like Yo. we knew Naturi was back, but like I think she she might have said it on like the Breakfast Club or something like a couple mm. months ago. Uh-huh. Mm. Um but that was like a big surprise that like uh Naturi was coming back, which we'll have her back on. And um, that shit was crazy. Yeah. Tommy. That whole scene is insane. It looks like it I really got was. fucking shot in my shit. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of it, we're like mm, mm, Yeah, we yes. like where she's yeah, that shit. They should have made it look more like Tariq died. That would have been yeah, crazy. Right? That would have been insane. Yeah. That would have been fire. I don't know what was about to happen. I was like, Shit. I watched. I actually watched that on TikTok. <laughs> I saw it on TikTok. Bro, I'm like, it's damn. So sad. I'm like, damn. And it, the, the the video, the TikTok, it literally cut off after I get gumbo. I'm like, damn. It looks like I fucking died. Exactly. <laughs> I was trolling. I reposted on my on my story for like ten seconds. I'm like, RIP TSP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then everybody was like, oh my god, no. I was like, oh shit, let me delete this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, rest in peace, Tariq St. Patrick. They was like, oh, what? You no already way. know. Screenshot. Viral. Yeah. 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 I was like, hold yeah. on. It was up for like 30 seconds and like 17 people already fucking responded. So I'm mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, let me get to Damn, the then Brady's it's- just gonna have to deal with for the next four seasons just being like, is Tariq alive? Is right. Tariq alive? <laughs> Yo, what happened to Tariq? Yeah. Is Tariq alive? Is Tariq alive? Is that would have been tough. Is this the first time we see Tommy actually hear Tasha say why she killed Lakeisha? Thank you. I was I thinking that so, yes. same exact thing. So I think so. It, it, this is what finally mends that Yep. That urge for revenge because right. he's been thinking. I mean, of course, there's probably a plethora of things, but right. he's been thinking Tasha killed Lakeisha, but she did it because she thought that she was going to rat on, on Tommy, you right. and Tasha Tom, and every, Tommy. everybody. Right. Whether that was actually going to happen or not, that the, that was the reason That's why she did it. End. Yeah, got to tie up the and, and and if anyone knows the rules of the game. It's Tommy. Oh, for mm-hmm. sure. So I think. I mean, that scene was so great. It was also he kinda, just was so in love with Lakeisha. So- he was so yeah. he was so blind to the rules of the yeah. game after a while. But he it was, was like, good to see. I mean, Lala, yeah. it was amazing because you were, you would never think Tommy not would Tommy like, getting lose a, his his right. his, his, his shit like yeah. that. Yeah, but that, was d- nice. that scene was kind of heartbreaking because it kind of. Um, where the last ones left, like mm-hmm. it seemed, Yo. it was just kind of like heartbreaking. Like it's just us two. Mm-hmm. It is though. Isn't that fucking crazy to That's think about? Insane. Like, and and the way they did the, the coloring, it was kind of like. Like grayish, mm-hmm. and, yeah. And, and it was fire, like him catching up with her. He's like, "Yo, I got a fucking brother in Chicago." Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 that shit yeah. was crazy. I'm like, "Damn, this is this is." We a need fire to do. Scene. We need to do a little bit more with Chicago. I, I, think, bro. I, 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 I yeah. say the little crossover. <laughs> I say the boys you know? get into some trouble, then we have to end up going to take a little trip to Chicago. Your uncle it's Tommy, I know right. shit was crazy. Where the boys go at the end of three ten? Yeah, I'm like, listen, man. Probably that's... to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at, Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. They go down the street. You guys are dead, but they so they go down the street. Street. you guys are dead, but we got some options. We might have to get the fuck out of the city, so Not Uncle Tommy might dead. be a help. So they just go down the street, man. They go They go just to the Lower East Side. We go get some ice cream after. <laughs> <laughs> we go to the Lower East Side. It's crazy. We go to Van Leeuwen and get some, <laughs> <laughs> get some nice little ice cream. But, you know what I'm yeah, that scene, that scene was that great. Was and it was like, yeah, we're the last ones left. It was kind of like, a, I just want to smoke a J with mm-hmm. you. Like, yeah, yeah, drive down the fucking... Yeah. yeah, that was fire. And yeah, was finally fire. getting to see... Well, your girls always, we always find a way to be in the same room with another one, but <laughs> mm-hmm. Effie and Lauren um, oh. went for the uh, inter- not interrogation. Yeah, inter- she, yeah. What was it? When when, when uh, Lauren wanted to go talk to talk Effie to her, yes. because she said, I am not um, going to testify for you, uh, Jenny Sullivan, unless I get to talk to Effie. Yeah. Um, so she went and talked to Effie and basically said that um, uh, she wanted like Effie to say that I won't come after you and everything will and be okay. And Effie was like, yeah, I good. don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, girl, this is not the time to be saying that to her yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, you like, want her to save you. Like, chill. That was a good scene. In your privileged ass. Yes. Like, I'm not going to lie, though. Effie's a real nigga, though. Fact. Yep. She's a real nigga, though. 
Cause Kane came in there to yo flip on Tariq, blah blah. He done did the whole dress yeah, up. Yeah, she was she was, <laughs> she was really not having it. Woody in glasses was crazy. Yeah, Woody in glasses was insane. I'm like, yo, this nigga look like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, this nigga look like me. But yeah, that was yeah. She as much as, as, as upset I am, you know, feeling giving it up for the tuition. You know, yeah. I'm a little bit of salty about it. Yeah, you know, Tariq she, feeling a little bit tuition. of a way. Tariq feeling a, <laughs> Tariq feeling a way. You saw his face when they when they walked out of Monet crib. Mm-hmm. He was like. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. That was a meme for yeah. so long. Yeah. 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 No about this. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, you know, as salty as Tariq was, you know, for 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 about that, I think he's gonna be uh pretty happy about her holding it down for him. Though, she did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She had ample ample yeah. opportunities. To but and, yeah, and then him. and then we had the scene with um so the scene with Paige in the park. Mm-hmm. What park did we, was that? Fort Green Park? Did we actually? I that so, was yeah. Fort Green Park. I remember yeah. that day vividly, man. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't even in the scene. I was there. I was the same. Yeah, oh, there. yeah, because you, you had brought the cookies or something? Yo, Chip City, shout out to the <laughs> boy. You got a cookie truck for, for the cash, yeah, right? Yeah, the oh, wait, I was like, did I, did I get some cookies? Yeah, we did. You, yeah. I don't know if you oh, yeah, we know. did yeah, do we the put, cookie yeah. truck. I was like, did I get cookies? I love Chip City. Busting. Yeah, yeah. crazy. And they had the PB and J that day. But She's basically, they had to like put umbrellas over Page at yeah, night because people, people were walking, that were walking by. through the park. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. because at that time page. they didn't know. Yes. Yeah, yeah they had to hide, big, literally hide yeah, Page. That's a big reveal. Because most, most scene. of her scenes were in um, the safe house. Like, safe this house, season. yeah. She had one scene in that park with you prior? Mm, yeah, one scene in, the, yeah. in that park. And then um, she had that other scene. Well, that was in the building, actually. So, yeah, that, everything was inside except for those two park scenes. No, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they was really on some shit. They had yeah. their umbrellas. They was hiding there. That's and shit. Crazy. Wow, that's crazy. But basically, so wh- where do where do we think Lauren went? Away she with her family. Went to the Lower East Side. Yeah. 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 Lower East Side. 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 Does the Lower East Side pay you or something? Yeah. He's like, he's like an ambassador yeah. for the Lower East Side. Yeah. 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 He's like, listen, if you're visiting New York, make sure you pull up to the Lower East Side. Get some Van Lee. He's like a Lower East Side ambassador. Maybe she went to Connecticut. Yeah, she probably went. She probably did go to like Greenwich, Connecticut, or something. Where do we think we'll see? You think we'll see a Lauren again in the Power Universe? I was going to ask you, do you think Manic- we'll see, ever Manic- see Riley uh-huh. again? Ooh. It's interesting. Fucking Riley. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't know if we'll see Riley again. Like, it's Connecticut. I, I, I think Brayden's past that. I think Sax is dead. I think Brayden's past that. I don't I don't think we'll ever. Maybe oh, there could Sax be like again. a reconnecting scene where he sees her somewhere. But you know how power is. Yeah. It depends on how much longer it goes on. Bro, they brought back the girl in... The original pilot episode where she had, you didn't even see her. Her eyes were covered. She had the, the rag on where, where ghosts. Rocky? And... Oh, no, 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 Rocky. Ooh. You're talking about in the original pilot. In the original pilot, in the, oh, yeah, yeah, in the yeah, yeah, opening yeah. scene where, where, where they, he's like, um, uh, Miglito. He's like, he's like, t- tell me, tell me what the, uh, what happened. And she he, came, when she come back? She brought away, well, they she brought her all the way in back in like season six. six. Power. And he had to pull up on her. She was working at a restaurant. Yeah. And, oh, and he gave her the money. Yes, so and he gave right. her the money or some shit like that, right? Yeah. I, don't that know, how, I, don't I don't know. I don't know about the money, it, but I do know who, I don't remember the details, but yeah. yes. I remember thinking that. Yeah, she was working at the restaurant and she heard Ghost on TV. Oh, yes, like, yes, I'm the yes, lieutenant yes, governor yes, or whatever. And she was like, I know that voice. the voice from when... I was kidnapped in the club S- seven years prior, so they could bring back anybody. They could. That was insane. Yeah. yeah. That 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 little like that shit of her like hearing ghosts, damn. just knowing his voice, like remembering the voice. It's like damn. Yeah. It's like a it's voice like, you never forget. Yeah, she's yeah. never but gonna forget that voice. How do they even remember? Like when they're writing, it's like let me go back. And let me go back a- six seasons yeah. real quick. That's fucking elite writing right there. I'm not going to lie. That's elite writing. But that's why I'm curious. Like, do we think... uh, I think we'll see Lauren again at some point. I think we will. I see my baby girl again, man. Bro, I got a baby girl. I got a baby girl. I got to make shit right, man. You got one. The time broke into the house. Right? Yeah, oh, that yeah, was fucking lit. The house and, that was lit. And, and, and I love that snatched scene. up the parents. I love that. No. Scene. Oh, yeah. I don't know if they're ever gonna pull back up to the city again. Yeah, yeah. After that, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, we're She's going. like, we gotta get out of the Lower East Side. Yeah. It's yeah. too dangerous. Yeah, we gotta get out of the Lower East Side. They yeah, have that. a nice ass house, and yeah. it still got broken into. Yeah, what's yeah. up with the security over you there? You know, right? Yeah. What well, was the crazy funny breach. though? The other one when Kane. And Monet coming to the Westons house. Oh, oh my God! That was my, I love that. That shit. was probably that's you, my favorite scene. I ain't gonna that lie. That's one of my favorite scenes, scenes ever. That's one of my favorite scenes. Was like, look, ma, they got one with your name on. She was like, oh yeah, that shit is. Monet, that's gonna go nice to the kitchen. Nice to the door in the dining room where the kitchen stuff like that. Day was so funny, and he was like, and he takes off the watch. He's like, it's a family. It's a fairly heirloom. Like Corey killed that. He's like, bro, she's white. He's like, oh. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he got to, and then the mom. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that shit was so funny. We as had soon as he so much it up, fun shooting she's that. Like, oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 Woody did a bunch of different alts for that exact uh-huh. scene. I forgot what he said about the painting. Mm-hmm. Um, oh my god! He said, I think he said one like. Uh, he said something. Uh, uh, who, who's the real? We, we went and saw the play about him. Uh, uh, Basquiat. 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 Uh, the, uh, oh, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol. Oh, okay, mm. okay. He's like, dude, it's a Warhol. He like, he he was doing so many mm. different alts that were so funny, but that was the one that that they kept. Oh, Obviously, Mama's got your name on it. Yeah, yeah. That he, was. Funny. Yeah, he had yeah. so many good alts of like him not knowing these painters, but mm. like kind of knowing the painters. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah, so yeah. Mm. Good. That day was so funny. Yeah, that's and, a and fucking. Trace amazing. was hitting me on the dick. Yo, that the- was that funny. <laughs> Oh God! Damn, yeah. y'all look like y'all had mad fun. Yeah, yeah. That that fi- that family scene was so funny because um, and every time my mom, uh, she's played by Angel, she was like, "Oh my God!" Yeah, like, that, was yeah. So that was the funniest shit ever. That was the funniest shit ever. That was another great scene in Ten. And when you guys were all together, you you three, you two and Kane, and he kept pulling the watch out. I don't think we have that much time. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, uh, yeah, 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 we're not gonna have the time. The way for that. he was doing the, it, the pettiness of yeah. it, yeah, yeah. Yes. the physicality. He's like, he's like. like <laughs> I was like, yes. I don't think. <laughs> I kind of love how that scene ended because what did we do specifically that day? You I, stepped to him and he's like, "I'm gonna fuck you up, Kane." And I told you, I was like, "Push me yeah, out of the way." Like, 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 I was like, "I'm up. actually gonna yeah. go for Kane. Like, I'm fucking like, bro, don't yeah. let me." Yeah, yeah, I'm like, "Bro, get the fuck yeah. out." Yeah, 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 and he yeah. pushed me, and we all kind of went our separate ways. It cut really well, and mm-hmm. it looked really mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. Like, cause I was fucking pissed. Like, it looked really real the way that like Tariq pushed me. He's like, yeah. "We got fucking work to do." But Kane's physicality was so funny. Like, so funny. I don't think we I'm got time. Yeah, Let no me time check the time. <laughs> the way he like did his whole body and he went. <laughs> <laughs> when he like wanted to show me. He's like. He's like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's how I'm gonna be when I get my Rolex. Though. Yeah, when you get the Rolex, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna be like. Every you know I mean? time. Can I get the bill? Can I get the yeah, bill? Hello. Yeah, hello. What, what time is Uber coming? Oh, um, hold on. Let me yeah. just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you see? Yeah. 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 What time? <laughs> I think it's 3.30. Yeah. 3.30? Yeah. Can you tell? 3.30? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so. Also, you gotta go to the server. Can you tell us what time is it? Yeah, got a whole phone that I can look at. Right? <laughs> right. Right. But no, no, I'm going to check I'm going to check Bro, the they, all the All the older people at work always do that to me, They'll like, because I'll come to set, yeah. and, they'll, and they'll be like, um, what time is it? They just, like, bust my balls down, they yeah. pay attention, I'll just pull up my phone. And like, yeah. you have a you have a watch on here? I'm like, this yeah. is for time, bro? This is for This is for the bad bitches, my guy. This is for time, bro? What are we talking about? I use my watch for the shine, not the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the last thing that we we didn't touch on yet was Monet. Mm. Oh yes. Mm. We don't see her mm. after mm. she gets shot in the hospital. That's it, right? Yeah. So we don't know, but we got to double down. That's yeah. all I know. Man, that's a hotter film me going through. We got right to now, double bro. down. Sit Kane on Tariq and double down. Everyone in the comments, hey, I want season four predictions in the yeah. comments. Write your craziest predictions. We don't Everything. care how crazy it is. I'm going to go through them. You know what? Ne- on Tuesday when this comes out, I'm going to go through all of them, and I'm going to respond in the comments. I want to see some season four predictions. We know that um, Drew and Diana are dead. So we, you guys Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Kane <laughs> Tariq went over to the Lower East Side. <laughs> That's all we know. <laughs> Listen, well, man, LES is playing a big part in this season. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, all I know is Diana, she wasn't shooting. Like, she didn't have a gun, so she probably hid somewhere. Mm-hmm. There's because she that. is methodical, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. So she might be alive. Mm-hmm. We shall see. You know what's so funny? Is people all the time like, I want this motherfucker dead. I want this person dead. Like, they don't realize that's like... I want them to not have a job. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked right. up. Yo. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yeah. Diana, you want me to be I'm unemployed, like, right? Okay. On. Yeah. Okay. Just because it makes you upset for 10 minutes on a Sunday night. Yeah, right? Yeah, it's yeah. so weird because ugh, they were just like, when, when Diana got arrested, I got your bail money, stank. Mm. We gonna come bail you out. We mm. got you. Da, 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 da. Soon as the episodes leaked, Snake, I can't stand you. <laughs> da, da, da. I'm like, oh my god, just y'all was just up. trying to build. Y'all was just trying to help me out. Listen, build all me I up. know is, all I know is, no matter what happened in Ghost prior three seasons, this and that, 
The only person that Tariq St. Patrick can trust is Braden motherfucking St. Patrick. Okay. For now. Uh, Braden motherfucking St. Patrick. He held Patrick. it down on the stand, For now. y'all. He held, he held it down on the stand. <laughs> I'm, I'm Yo, y'all don't even understand like, the, the anticipation <laughs> for that season to come out. I was like, bro, the way they're going to think this nigga is going to snitch, yeah. and then the, when the next episode comes out and he doesn't snitch, they're going to go crazy. I was fiending for that. Yeah. For season two. Yeah, for yeah. two. For and two, then, I was fiending. And then it happened, and then like, what, what episode? Or was it where you say where you where you did was it in the episode? finale? Yeah, it was, in the the, 10. It was yeah. nine or ten. Yeah, it was ten. ten. Yeah. Oh yeah, ten. He just saved the day. I'm like, look at this shit, bro. The writers yeah. got your boys back, yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, they no, fuck did with you, you send them like a, a, a cookie yeah, truck like, or something? Like, something. Send them a cookie I need truck. <laughs> Yeah, like they had the truck like in front of their crib, like, hey, good morning, cookie for you. Yeah. (laughs) All I know is the end of season two, Brayden saves the day. The end of season three, Brayden saves the day. Uh huh. They they get your boy, you know. I don't know. I mean, you live for season to. We give them a lot of shit. We call them pussy. What happens? Can you let us know? Yeah, I guess I can let you guys know. It depends on, are you going to get us a cookie truck? Are you going to get the crew hazard a cookie truck? Sure. I mean, that's the plan today. All right, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll tell you what happens. We'll I'm like, sure. <laughs> he, said, he said that was the plans today. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you guys so much for being on this 10-week recap journey with us. 10 weeks. This was new for us. Like, this really was like a new thing. Like, we didn't yeah. know what the fuck we were doing. At we did all. a live show. We was winging this bitch, but it was fun. Though. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, did the live podcast. The live was podcast fire. was lit. Yeah. Alex was there. Brett, yeah. Lorenz. Yep. That was fire. During the premiere, that was like crazy. I was... I was kind of, I was kind of cooked during that. <laughs> yeah, you were good. Cooked. We were on Adderall. Yeah, we were yeah, like- we was fucking cooked, bro. I fucking someone made me a drink. That shit was so strong, and I'm like, yes, this is what I need for this. And okay. I was nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. Yeah, I was a little nervous too for that. And then the fucking, and then that shit we did on on the live, yo. That- oh my! I can't believe they posted that. Yo. Me either. Like, what the fuck? Yo, go start. Well, first, yo. How about the questions? Yo, like I was yeah. like. That was crazy. Oh, that's that's why, trying to get us canceled? No, I'm that's like, why I asked you before. I'm like, listen, I'm just listening. Before man. we did it, I was like, Gianni, are you okay with this question? And you're like, absolutely. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm like, okay. I knew so. exactly what was going to happen after that After that, that fucking shit we did. I said, yeah, give it like a good two weeks, two, three weeks to a month. This shit is going to be fucking going crazy. And that's got a couple million views now. Yeah. It was so funny because the way his face, he looked at me when I was like, yeah, it happens. He like looked at me like I was crazy. I was like... <laughs> I, was I was like, like Mike? Next question. <laughs> <laughs> like, Mike? Yeah, and he said, Uh-oh. what you looking at? I'm like, listen, nigga, I'm just listening. Yeah. <laughs> he immediately got to bed. He's like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Just listen to me. And then you started taking a drink. So in the comments, they're like, Lavelle's taking a drink? What's happening? What's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Oh, yeah, because they did say take a drink if, take if a drink yeah. Mm-mm. But we had to, he was just taking I a drink. I could have sworn, if I'm not mistaken, they mentioned the name to read. You were just taking a drink because you were thirsty. Like, that was the rule. Yeah, but yeah. See, you see, I'm getting swindled. Oh, that's a setup. That is, yeah. That's a setup. That is these motherfuckers are doing anything for clicks. They got the shade room that's at our premiere. Yeah. They're fucking these motherfuckers. That's tough. Drink anytime yeah. we say Tariq. Yeah. Yep. Anytime oh. we say Tariq, you're supposed to take a drink. I'd yeah. be dead. I'd yeah. be dead. Yeah, we oh, no. <laughs> I'd be dead. Reek, reek. Every, yeah. time. Every time someone came over, we would just like, we would. I wouldn't always take the drink. I would just put it up mm-hmm. and do that. Mine was, been mine was soda done. water. <laughs> You guys were all drinking. Mine was soda water. I was like, fuck this oh, motherfucker. Good for you. Yeah, my Smart. shit was cooked. I was yes. cooked. My shit was yeah. a tequila with a splash of fucking ginger ale. A I'm splash. Like, yeah. I'm mm. like, ah, damn. Yeah. Sounds good right about now. But anyways, I, thank I'm you guys you. so much for being with us for these well, 10 weeks. Day. For for <laughs> now, moving forward, we're so next week, um, we're gonna have J.R. Ramirez from um Fire. the original power Julio. Yay. That's one we've been so excited for. We've had that in the can for like a month and a half now, but we've been waiting for a show to come out. But we're gonna have some non-power people. Yeah, I was just about to say, didn't we didn't we do yeah, that? We had that a while ago, yeah, but we've had that in the can. Yeah, yeah. But we, we're, the next we're gonna have some um non-power people on coming. Yeah, let up. us know what kind of guests y'all want, honestly. Yeah. Like obviously we could bring anyone on, but we would we would wanna know who who y'all wanna see. Like, Again, who, yeah. in the comments. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Drop them in the comments, whoever, artists. Singers, rappers, dancers, actors. Yeah. And predictions. Yeah, yeah. drop mm-hmm. your predictions too. Everything. Don't forget that. But yeah, whatever guests y'all want to see, let us know, man. Please. We're going to make it happen for y'all. You know the cool got y'all. Yeah. You know the cool We're got blowing y'all. this shit up, baby. This podcast is growing, you know? We, we, love, we love recapping the power stuff, and that'll always be a thing, but we're going to start going to other avenues and having other people on, which we're excited for. And I know you guys have been asking for us, so... Um, she's going to get real serious. This is fire. Yeah. I'm so excited. She got serious. And then so we got proud. Toya. Yeah. She's like, she's at this point, she's part of the crew. She got yeah. equity. Toya. Yeah, she got equity. Yeah. She part of the crew. Like, Toy- 
sexy. So, so what's going to happen is when, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to L.A., Michael be in New York. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a place in both, so we'll be flying back and forth to, to get some episodes in. But we, if there's an episode or here or there where we might need a guest host in L.A. or there's I'm an episode down. where we need a guest host in New York, someone might have to do it with Mike. So you might be seeing a little switch up, which which we're excited for, too, because that's always fun. I know you mm. love the boys, but it's always fun every, you know, four or five weeks. New shit. Yeah, to get Something to new refreshing, shit. you know? Something mm. refreshing. So what have you guys been working on since you haven't been on Ghost anymore? Can you, can you plug? <laughs> plug? <laughs> no, I was kidding. Plug what you guys got for uh, coming up. Obviously. Bro- brother came out. Brother, Hello. Brother, brother yes. That yes, sir. John and I did. Yes, and sir. Aaron Pierre and Lamar Johnson and Mark Stephanie. Um, and uh, it, it slapped. It went to yes. TIFF. It slapped. Yes. yes. Um, and it's getting getting its American release soon. Yes. Or U.S. Amen. release. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Hell yeah, bro. The boy is working, Say man. Say it again. Brother. What came out? <laughs> brother. Brother came out. Brother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Period. And follow, um, follow Lavelle on Instagram. Yeah. Lavelle Adams Gray. He doesn't read the comments, yeah. apparently, so, yeah. you know, he's not going to see anything that anyone says. But just follow him. Give him a follow. Yeah, I do period. answer DMs. Yeah. You do? Sometimes. Oh, see, now oh, that's People got, like, nah, act, acting advice and stuff, and I'll be like, all right, sure, whatever. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's really sweet. Sometimes, sometimes. He's for the people, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 I respond Bella's to the comments. People, like, if I post something and, like, the first couple of minutes, whatever, I, like, respond to the comments because it's fun and funny. Yeah. I like talking shit in my comments yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I'm going to make a yeah. fence, though, and do that. Yeah. Fence is the way. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got my little, I got my little spam account. Yeah, I got the fence. Yeah. I got, fence of, yeah. I got, well, I got a fence and I got a spam account where I, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Toy, yeah, you got burner. Toy's about to hit a mill, huh? Are you close to a mill? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it's not even oh, yeah. like, it's weird because oh, yeah, it's, it's like, lit. it's just Instagram, but it would be dope to like hit it. You That's know lit. Me, a little million. Listen, like, listen though, listen yeah. though. It's not just Instagram because look, once you throw the, once you get the million, mm-hmm. you could up your post, your post price by like that's five, facts. ten bands. Like, that's, that's Like exactly. once you're in the mills, you good. Like Period. you could, you yeah. could tax for the post. Yeah. You could tax for the story. For the story. You don't even got to put it on your wall. You just Five bands for the story. You get well, a little. You know what I'm saying. Listen, man. Listen, man. I'm. It's like listen. You might be doing that because you know I love to count money. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. You gotta capitalize, man. Capitalize, man. Okay, so you gotta, you said, she said, well, I, I love to count. We should I win. love. I will count some money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then count it again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just like, it sorry. Feels good. <laughs> huh. So, um, yeah. Since I guess so, I'm not gonna go somewhere. I'm Everybody not. dead. Uh, right. Let's <laughs> 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 uh, I do have something possibly, but can't really speak on it. So, you know, but uh, yeah, we shall see. Yeah. Follow me, you know, give me to that meal. Yeah, get it to <laughs> um, the meal, man. So, TikTok, so Instagram, and on Twitter, I am Toy Official. So, Toy yeah. Official. Keep it consistent. Yes, 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 right. yes. Listen, baby. Um, oh, yeah, Where's 22 on Instagram. Um, Where's 22 on TikTok. Michael Rainey Jr. on Instagram. If you want like the sophisticated, a little bit side of me, you go on Michael Rain Jr. You want the cooler, a little bit cooler side, go on Where's 22. <laughs> um, yeah, if you're in Jamaica, obviously if you're in Jamaica, go check out my restaurant, Catch 22. It's a lounge, you, you know, everything there, drinks, hookah, food, great a food, vibe. a vibe. And um, yeah, Where's 22 on YouTube, vlogs is coming, Yao's behind this camera. So um, anyone asking for vlogs, make sure you tag Yao Evu on Instagram and fucking bug him for the vlogs because he's the one that makes it all happen. Yes. Well, those vlogs are terrible, so I'm starting my <laughs> own vlog, okay? No, follow your boy Gianni V. Paolo, Instagram, TikTok. I am starting my own vlog. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Gianni V. Paolo. Um, we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some oh, collabs yeah, with be Mike. Lit. We're going to be lit. Yeah. We're going to be turned up. He's going to be fire. Gonna so be fire. we got some hostings coming up. Mike, do you, are, are you anywhere? Oh, no, your hostings has already happened because it's well, already By the time this comes out, yeah. I'll be out there already. Yeah. Well, shit, with me and my boy Woody, he's an ops, but we had a ball <laughs> in, in Miami, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to kill me and shit, but we had a ball. Yeah. We had a ball. Like, dude, that's yeah, my yeah, man. Memorial yeah, Day weekend, man. My, I didn't even man. know how Toronto was. Oh, man. Oh, I love Toronto, bro. We, oh, had, a, we had a time. Bro. 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 Lavelle. Who went to the party and after the party? Oh my God. Lavelle. That says it all. Lavelle. Lavelle. I love yeah. Canada, bro. I showed you. I bro. Fucking bro, the women there are crazy. Yo, what? Crazy. Showed I'm going back ASAP because yeah. I have family out there. You know what's crazy? My aunt, she fuck, she's Jamaican. She fucking made us breakfast, lunch, and dinner, like a whole like spread for us. But she was like an hour away. She's in Pickering, I think. She's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's like an hour and 20 minutes away. Rush, I was going crazy. So like, and our flight got delayed like a motherfucker. So we didn't have no time to go. Yeah. We was about to go eat good. So I gotta spin mm. back for that. I gotta, I have to come back yeah. to Canada for We that. went to the morning party. Part of the day party, yeah. the evening party, the late party, to the after party, to the party party. We yeah, were... it was a lot. It was we were fun. there for two days. 
No, one day. Like oh, one 22 one hours. Day? 22, 22 hours, hours, and we got a lot done. Oh, damn. Ooh, I wish I could understand what was happening under we got all that done. Oh, like, he was no, like, I mean, oh, we had no so business work. Work. A lot a lot of work. Work. The crew has it. Hey, the crew you has it. have it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you, Toy, the most recurring guest <laughs> on the crew. I just wish you the season regular. Season regular. Season, season, season regular, regular right now. Point, you know what I'm saying? Lavelle, thank you for coming on, brother. We appreciate it. Hell yeah, we love y'all. The crew has it, baby. Yes, sir. We had the jihadists in this bitch. Thank you for watching the season of Ghost.